Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion with fluid mechanics and hydraulic machines. So far we have discussed about various phenomena such as uh, surface tension, capillarity, bulk modulus of elasticity uh, and coefficient of volume expansion. So in this video we are going to discuss about uh, uh, two more of such uh, phenomena such as vapor pressure and cavitation in fluids okay so we know that a liquid it changes from when it changes from the liquid state to vapor state that process is called as vaporization okay and it can again return back from vapor to liquid state so this change of uh, you know the state of the liquid from liquid to vapor and uh, the interchange it depends on the surrounding pressure and temperature conditions okay it is very important so all liquids at a certain uh, at, you know, at a certain value of temperature and pressure which is unique to different liquids with different properties they have a tendency to vaporize so when liquid molecules they undergo vaporization and vapors are formed the vapors which get accumulated on top of the liquid because of this conversion from liquid to vapor state they vapor molecules they exert a pressure on the liquid okay because of this conversion from liquid state to vapor state the vapor molecules get accumulated on top of the liquid and they exert a pressure on the liquid the vapor molecules that pressure is called as vapor pressure the vapor the pressure exerted by the vapor molecules on top of the liquid is called as vapor pressure now this vapor pressure this exerted pressure it continues to increase until the rate of conversion of liquid to vapor and vapor to liquid it becomes equal okay the rate at which liquid molecules are getting converted into vapor molecules and vapor molecules are again getting reconverted back to the initial state the liquid liquid to vapor vapor to liquid this conversion rate when it becomes equal until then the vapor pressure continues to increase and that pressure at which the equilibrium condition is attained the conversion the two conversion rates become equal liquid to vapor and vapor to liquid that is called as the saturation vapor pressure okay saturation vapor pressure now suppose we have a liquid and the pressure of uh, you know the pressure above the liquid is lesser than or equal to its saturation vapor pressure if it if it is like that then boiling of the liquid will take place okay the boiling of the liquid will take place so this is how the vapor pressure or the saturation vapor pressure it affects the rate of conversion of liquid to vapor and vapor to liquid so this vapor pressure the saturation vapor pressure it increases with rise in temperature so we can we can also try to understand this uh, concept of vapor pressure through the phase diagram now we know that uh, vapor pressure is the pressure exerted by the vapor molecules on top of the liquid so we can also define vapor pressure in a different way as the pressure at which the liquid phase and vapor phase of a substance will be in thermal equilibrium the same thing will be in thermal equilibrium the rate of conversion of liquid to vapor and vapor to liquid back which is thermal equilibrium the equilibrium conditions so vapor pressure is the pressure at which the liquid and vapor phase of a substance will be in thermal equilibrium so that corresponding pressure and the temperature is called as 
saturation vapor pressure and saturation temperature. For example, we have the phase diagram of water here. Vapor pressure on one axis, the vertical axis, temperature on the horizontal axis. So, here this blue line it corresponds to the equilibrium condition, the liquid vapor equilibrium condition line. So, on any of these points on the blue line where the coordinates, the vertical and horizontal coordinates representing vapor pressure and temperature, it will be in equilibrium condition. That is the rate of conversion of liquid to vapor and vapor to liquid will be equal. Okay, liquid vapor equilibrium. At any pressure or temperature value coordinate point below this line, below this line, the liquid or the water will exist in vapor phase, water vapor as water vapor. And above it, it will be in liquid state or liquid phase. So, any combination of pressure and temperature above this blue line will correspond to the liquid phase of water and any combination of vapor pressure and temperature below this blue line will give us the water vapor phase. Okay? So, this concept of vapor pressure is associated with another phenomena called as cavitation. Okay? So, cavitation is a phenomena in which the static pressure of the liquid, it reduces below its vapor pressure. Okay? When the static pressure in a liquid, it reduces below its vapor pressure, the saturation vapor pressure or the equilibrium condition vapor pressure which we just discussed. So, when it reduces to below that, that phenomena is called as cavitation. So, why it is important? It leads to the formation of small cavities, vapor filled cavities in the liquid which keep on moving with the liquid as bubbles or you know, vapor filled cavities. So, these bubbles are carried by the liquid from a region to high pressure, the high pressure region where they finally collapse, okay, when they finally collapse. So, because of this collapsing of these bubbles or voids or these vapor filled cavities, shock waves are generated, shock waves are produced. So, it is very important thing to consider when it comes to hydraulic machinery such as turbines, blades and all of these things, pistons, ramps, all of these things, when there will be cavitation occurring, shock waves will be produced and that can cause damage to the hydraulic equipment, machinery, piston, ram, um, turbine blades, all of this, valves like that. So, that is why the phenomena of cavitation is very important. So, cavitation occurs when the static pressure of the liquid goes below its saturation vapor pressure. It leads to the formation of small vapor filled cavities which are carried by the liquid flow to a high region, a high pressure region where they finally collapse producing shock waves which can cause damage to the machinery. Okay, so, here uh, we discussed about the concept of vapor pressure because it was related to the phenomena of cavitation. So, we tried to understand it uh, directly how, through liquid to vapor and vapor to liquid conversion and also with the help of phase diagram of water. Also, we discussed about cavitation. So, I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology. Have a great day. Thank you very much.